guys in this video we're going to have a go at making a little cartoony triceratops head cake so i've started with a 10 inch cake for this one which i've just cut into two and i'm layering up with some chocolate buttercream and i've put it on a 14 inch cake drum so once i've layered up my two pieces of cake and my two layers of 10 inch round cake i'm adding a little bit more buttercream i'm not going to cover the whole thing because my next piece of cake's a little bit smaller this one's a seven inch cake Let's put a little bit more buttercream on here as well now I didn't take it all the way to the top as I planned on cutting some cake off there. So I've put my final piece of cake on and I'm going to cut some off the top edge here. I'm aiming for a straight line because I've cut a bit of a diagonal. Let's just move my cake around so it looks straight. Let's cut a small bit off each side at the top again coming out a diagonal. And then let's cut some off the bottom either side of that bottom bit. I'm just using a cake card now as a bit of a template to cut out some curves. So two at the top, one either side. And let's shape the face a little bit more so a slope off the top of the head and then a little bit off either side a little bit more coming further down to the bottom and leaving that middle bit as it is then let's cover the whole thing in chocolate buttercream you can use chocolate ganache if you prefer i'm using buttercream today just because i made so much of it that i might as well use it so smooth it off the best you can i haven't smoothed mine off too much and i'm going to use three packs of green icing what I'll do is put links in the description box below the video to everything that I've used. So I'm just going to take a small sausage piece for each kind of eye. And these are going to become like the eyebrow area. Stuck each one on a curve. And then we've placed a piece of fondant. So we've rolled out that green and we've put it all the way over our cake. So just make sure when you roll it out, it's big enough that it's going to cover your cake. So you might have gone for a smaller cake than me. You might need a little bit less fondant. Or if you've gone for a bigger size cake, you're going to need a little bit more than the 750 grams that I've used. So I've rubbed it down everywhere with my hands and then we're going to cut off all the extra from around the bottom edge. Now really I should have wiped off any extra buttercream before I put this fondant on. So all the buttercream that was on the board. So I've now wiped that off. And I'm just going to use a texture mat just to give it a little bit of texture. This one's like a little pavement pebbly effect texture mat. Again I'll put links in the description box below the video to where you can get these things from. And I'm simply going to push in with my fingers. So just gently rub in. So that I'm creating like a line that goes up the center at the top and then slightly out at either side. Then let's draw a little mouth in with my Dresden tool. So you can see how soft it is when I'm pressing in with my tool. That's because I've covered it in buttercream and the cake's quite soft underneath. Now if you don't want it as soft, stick your cake in the fridge before you put the fondant on like I have done. So we've drawn a little mouth in and then what we're going to do is put some lines going upwards. Again, just really giving it a bit of texture. And I'm going to mark where I want my eyes to sit. So I'm just using the handle of my rolling pin. This is usually when I see that I've put them in uneven. So I'm going to get them in as even as I can. Let's just go over that a bit more with my impression mat. I'm avoiding sort of the nose area because I want to keep that quite plain. And I've just mixed like a really pale yellow colour. It's just fondant that we're using again here. And if you don't like a lot of fondant, these bits you can just pick off. You don't have to eat them. So we've cut this piece into two, so it had kind of a point on either end. We've cut it in half and we're going to use either half, or both halves, we're going to use both halves for the little horns. I'm just resting them on in place at the moment, but you can stick them on with a little bit of water. I'm going to roll a piece of green, so the same colour as the main bit of the face, like a long little snake shape, and we're going to put it around the bottom of each of those horns, which will secure those in place a little bit more. We want another horn, so we'll start with a bit of a teardrop shape. I've cut off a little bit off the bottom, and we're going to place this about in the middle of the face. So this one kind of sits on its nose. Again, like we did with the other ones, roll a strip or a sausage shape of the green. And we'll just wrap it around the bottom. Just using the more rounded end of my Dresden tool now. And we're going to poke in some little nostrils. And I've got two bowls of white fondant. I've kind of squished down slightly for the eyes. Now you can use a circle cutter if you prefer. I wanted to keep them quite rounded and dome-like. So that's why I pressed them with my fingers rather than sort of rolling them out with a rolling pin and then using a cutter. But I have used a cutter for the black circles that sit in the middle and then just a smaller ball of white squished into each one. So it looks like the light reflecting in the eyes. So let's put some kind of little pebble shapes squished on on the face. Let's put some on the forehead, a few up here. I don't know what this bit of the dinosaur is called. Okay, so put a few on until you're happy with it. You don't need loads. Then let's add a little bit of colour. And we're adding the colour before we add the eyes, otherwise the eyes end up really dirty looking from all the colored dusts we're using so the dusts are all edible and i've used a cream color on sort of the nose and mouth area a little bit on kind of the eyebrow area and then we're going over with like a darker green it's kind of a willow 
colour this one. Again, I'll put links in the description box below the video to which ones I've used. Just make sure they are all edible when you're using them. So anywhere that we want to look shadowed, we're going to go over with that green, keep it nice and dark. Now we can place those eyes in there. And I'll try and get them even. Oh, it's a little bit bog-eyed. And then let's just darken the mouth. Now this is where usually I add more colour and wish that I hadn't. But it's on. The colour's on there now, so he's got a darker mouth. And then I might darken just above the eyes. Again, probably went a little bit too heavy with the black here. I've just pressed in a little bit below the mouth, just to give it a bit more shape. And then a little bit like the horns we made earlier, we're going to mix some more, but it's more kind of semicircle that we start with, and then we press them into shape on the actual cake itself. Okay, give them a really firm press on. If they're not sticking, just put a little bit of water under there to hold them in place. And you can spend a little bit longer than I have done neatening them up. And you can also add a bit of dust to those. Give them a bit of shading. I've got a teddy bear brown colour fondant that we're going to use just to cover our board. And then I've got the remainder of my green from the face. So I've kept it quite chunky and I'm just pushing it on under the body so it's a little bit narrower where it meets the head. It comes out a little bit wider as it comes to the bottom of the cake board. Let's put a bit of texture on there so it matches with the face. Once we've done that, I'm going to cut off all the extra that goes beyond the edge of the board all the way around. Then we just need to dust a little bit more of the edible dust. So plenty of green and brown on there. I wanted it to just kind of look a bit murky in the background, but now it's on. I've decided I preferred it just a plain brown, but it's a bit late for me to change my mind now. And let's just put a little bit more detail on the eye with just a tiny sort of thin piece of black. It doesn't go all the way around the edge. Can you see just along those top? edges of the eye there and there it is all finished my little triceratops head cake i hope you've enjoyed the video thank you for watching if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below you can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now if you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials there are also links in the description box below where you can find me on facebook instagram and more